Welcome to another tutorial for Dry Vaccine. In this tutorial, we are going to go a bit more into details on the settings of the Dry Vaccine console. And what more is, we are going to look at what happens when a virus infects the system and how Dry Vaccine is going to help us. So I'm going to go ahead and log on to my Dry Vaccine console here. And this is here comes the Dry Vaccine console on your right hand side, which is usually the general information of the Dry Vaccine console. On the left hand side on the top you can see the common task of dry vaccine what more users are going to be playing around with is going to be the restore settings here on your right now is all your restore settings options which is quite a lot of restore options unlike you won't find it other softwares so the top is going to be uh, your baseline information which is usually that tells you when your initial baseline has been installed that is usually during the installation of dry vaccine itself or unless you have updated your baseline and then the time frame of this will change the next thing we are going to look at is the restore baseline settings like I've mentioned before this uh, software has quite a lot of restore baseline options uh, which is usually restore baseline at restart and you've got the one for log off and then you've got one for both restart and log off and then you've got to go more time specific maybe an hourly or you can even press this option restore now if you just decided to restore all of a sudden then you've got restore at the first boot up of the day or you could even go daily or weekly if you you know fine with your system being not being restored every time and then you could even go up there and press restore baseline at restart and then you can even set some time to temporarily suspend restore just in case you want the system updates to take place which usually requires your system to restart so you could you know set time to temporarily restore suspend restore and then if you're fine with your baseline's uh, system updates you could just update your baseline to include those updates before resuming restore another option we look at is disable restore where when you decide to install new applications and make changes to the system you do not want the restore to take place thus resulting in losing those installation files so for some time you could you know have the disable restore option on and after you have installed your new application or system files you could then initialize your system restore by going and clicking restore baseline and restart which is my preference for my restore baseline settings the next i'm going to look at is program settings which is your simple um, usual program setting changes here you could set to change new passwords and you can even hide your tray icon in your public access computers so that other users do not mess around with dry vaccines console and you know changing your settings your preferred settings then if you want to be even more protective you can uh, you know enable uh, restart if the PC is left idle for 30 minutes or you could even increase the time and then you have another um, option to shut down if the PC is left idle. The reason for these two options is if uh, you know a public user left your PC idle for some time and it's best to have it restored to your best uh, baseline so your system stays clean and not affected. And the last option is uh, you know you could even look at auto run miss schedule restore. So if you missed a schedule for restore, it runs restore the next boot up. Then network settings is your settings to connect to your dry vaccine remote management console, which you can control about you know 50 to 60 even more uh, public access computers from one administrator computer. So you can just connect to this uh, network management console. What's great about about this um, remote management console is it's free when it when you buy dry vaccine, so you do not have to pay a separate uh, price for the remote management console. It comes free with this. And one of the most uh, impressive uh, option in dry vaccine is the tools option here uh, which is you know which can be used um, if you want to restrict the use of CD-ROM devices or restrict the use of USB flash drive which more administrators like if uh, they put your computers for public access this you know gives more protection for the uh, system so no users uh, can use USB or CD-ROM to do some malicious tasks and now we are back to the general information in the next step of this tutorial I'm going to show you how dry vaccine uh, protects your system and revert back from any uh, infected or corrupted system files changing back to everything to a well perfectly working state 
So in order to do this, I'm going to intently uh, delete my system files and delete my own personal files by just going to my computer here. Uh, note this is only for educational purposes. Do not try this at home unless you're well protected by dry vaccine. So I'm going to go ahead, open my Windows folder. And as you can see, it gives you a warning saying not to modify its contents as it keeps your system working perfectly fine. Just going to go ahead, open up the folder then I'll go back to system 32 you can see the warning again here then open this contents again I'm just going to delete a couple raw folders here which is keep in mind important to your system so I'm just going to delete that here and I'm just going to close this here and you know just even or empty my recycling bin taking this out completely from my system here going to empty it then I'm going to even uh, you know um, go to my own personal folder here in my downloads folder you can see important documents I'm just going to even delete this permanently I'll just go delete or move its contents just right click on my recycling bin here and empty my recycling bin delete that I'm going to go further ahead and take this to the next step here I would going to run a malicious virus that's going to uh, you know delete more of my system 32 files and corrupt my system so keep in mind this is for educational purposes only do not try this at home I've downloaded this virus off the internet I'm going to run this on my system corrupting it I have dry vaccine to protect my system so I'm going to try this uh, the users at home please do not try this so I'm just going to run this file here so you can see it's giving me warnings here uh, even brought more two files onto my that folder and even destroyed my desktop wallpaper so this is a potentially dangerous virus if you do not have a protection of your system to back out of all these changes I have dry vaccine so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and restart my system and as you can see after the restart my system will be all back working fine my desktop back and everything is normal you can see my re the system has restarted you can see my desktop wallpaper is back which is one of the few signs that my system has gone back to a well perfectly working state now let's just go and see if my registry files are back which is important to my system so I'm gonna go to Windows open the contents again go to my system 32 and you can see those two row of folders are back there so I'm going to go back, uh, close this folder, and then I'm going to see if my own personal files are there. I'll just go to downloads, and you can see my own important documents are there. This just means draw vaccine went back in time, saved my system, brought back all those registry files in, took the virus away, and bought even my registry files and important documents back. And this is how draw vaccine is able to protect your system and go back in time and restore back to a well perfectly working state that is it for this tutorial be sure to watch our other tutorials on how to use dry vaccine